In addition to transporting people, Sidecar will also be delivering packages. The competitor to Uber just announced its offering for same-day delivery services nationwide. Sidecar co-founder, CEO Sunil Paul with me now. So Sunil, why this direction? Why people end packages? Well, Deirdre, this is, uh, it really is fulfilling our vision of creating this massive transportation network. It's a win, win, win. It's better for riders because they can save money because they're sharing it with a package. It's better for drivers because they make more money. And it's better for merchants, e-commerce companies that and uh, merchants that want to be able to do same-day delivery. They but, can do it now affordably and fast. But Sunil, I mean, how do you control the experience? Because I understand some of the packages that can be delivered are hot food, flowers. I mean, there seems to be a range. So what if someone's expecting a hot dinner, but you have to drop off two or three passengers first? Yeah, well, in our tests, which we've been testing now for six months, the average diversion to pick up someone is only 3.6 minutes. Uh, so there typically is not a big diversion. Uh, but on top of that, we've also found with our, uh, one of the partners we've talked about publicly is Eat24, a leading uh, restaurant ordering app. And there we were able to cut their delivery time in half. So we're actually delivering faster than uh, the current system. And as you point out, you're in these population-dense areas, so I guess the 3.6 minutes it makes it sense. What do you think about how this changes your competitive position against Uber or against Lyft or Get here in New York City? Yeah, you know, we have really always been focused on creating a great value for riders, um, and so I think it helps in, in that way. Uh, it helps with drivers. But the big advantage is that we are focused on selling to businesses for the delivery service. And uh, competitive offerings uh, from Uber and others, you know, really focus on the consumer. And I think when you are a business, you want a partner uh, for your logistics piece. You want a partner that's not competing with you. So uh, that's really the big differentiation here. And, and it's as far help as the, I mean, the people who are ordering these goods, right, they're getting a huge price cut because it seems like you're able to do things cheaper than, say, a FedEx or a UPS because your drivers are out on the road anyway. Oh, yeah. This is way more affordable than uh, UPS or FedEx. Um, you know, the, compared to a typical uh, last mile, last uh, same day kind of service, career type service, uh, this is anywhere from one-third to one-fifth the cost of, of those services. So I'm curious on a bigger picture because I'm reading here in your bio, Sunil, that you actually successfully lobbied the California legislature to pass a law for peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, which has been, in fact, hotly debated, but then since adopted in Oregon and Washington. What is it like to be a tech entrepreneur and have to influence policy for the good of your company's bottom line? Um, well, it in the beginning has been really uh, challenging. Um, but you know, I think what we found is that when regulators and uh, innovators work together, uh, the public wins. Uh, these innovations that we've brought forward and this new innovation, we've been consistently the first one to come out with these uh, new innovations they really end up blossoming when they're embraced and encouraged by, by public policy. So uh, we've generally found that uh, there are lots of people, especially politicians that are responsible to the people and not responsible to some industry, they tend to be very supportive of, of our innovations. All right, Sunil, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for the time. Sunil Paul joining us Thank there. You, he is the Sidecar co-founder and CEO.